Howdy, howdy, folks. Once again, this is Donnie coming at you with another in our series of storage management videos and specifically in the area of logical volume management. Now, in a previous video, I showed you the basics about how to create a logical volume. And of course, we had all the prerequisite steps of creating our partition, toggling it to type 8E or 8E00, turning that partition into a physical volume, adding that physical volume to a volume group, and then we create our logical volume, finally, with the LV create command. And this is the form of command that I showed you for using LV create. So you see here we just have a dash uppercase L followed by the specific size that we want to make that logical volume. But there are a couple of other options which you may find handy. For example, let's just say that you've created your brand new volume group. You've not created any logical volumes yet. But now let's say that we don't want to have to specify the size of that logical volume. Let's say, for example, that we've created a brand new volume group. It's a brand new clean volume group. We've not created any logical volumes on it as yet. So what we can do is we can do something like this. We can do a lowercase l instead of an uppercase l. And now let's say that we want to only use 25% of that volume group for our logical volume. We can do like this. So it's a dash lowercase l, 25% uppercase VG is what we're doing here. So that then will create a logical volume which takes up 25% of that volume group. Now, again, this has got to be a clean volume group that you've never created any logical volumes from just yet in order for this to work. And of course, I mean, you can specify any amount that you want. You want to take it up to the entire volume group I mean, you can do that as well. Okay, so that's one option. Now, let's say that you have already created some logical volumes from this volume group, but you have not used the entire space from the volume group just yet. So this time you want to specify the amount of free space that you want to use for this logical volume that you are now going to create. So we can just replace the VG with the free like this. And that then will tell the logical volume manager to use all the rest of the free space in that volume group to create this new logical volume. And again, I mean, you can change this figure to whatever you want. Let's say that you want to use 25% of the free space. You can do that 30%, 50%. 70%, whatever. You can change it to whatever you want. So that makes it really, really handy. And, uh, you know, just might be easier, you know, for you than trying to, you know, go in and look at the amount of, of free space that you have and then trying to figure out, you know, your command with the uppercase L, you know, to specify the amount of free space. Just do, you know, either this VG or free option, you know, with the, with the percentage of the space that you want to use and hey, you're good. It's easier, right? All right. So that's it for that. Real short and simple, short and sweet. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.